some great baseball on the way this Tuesday night. It's the St. Louis Cardinals against the Arizona Diamondbacks. Major League Baseball, live on 2K Sports. Welcome to Tuesday Night Baseball at 2K Sports. I'm Gary Thorne with Steve Phillips and John Crook. We'll see Hideki Matsui. Today, his job gets some RBIs. Called the Valley of the Sun, and it is our venue for this ball game, a night game here at Chase Field. We're going to take a look at our starting pitcher for Arizona. And as he gets going against these St. Louis hitters, what do you think's in store? Well, sending a good lefty to the mound in this ball game here, but this is a great lineup, a lineup that can really beat up even some of the best pitchers in the game. So he's going to have to be on top of this game in order to do it and rely upon that movement on his pitches. Time for the offensive lineup for Tony La Russa. Scouting report, John. How about some picks? Bob or Pujols, Gary, you know, he can do everything with a bat in his hands. But not only that, there's not many guys in baseball that make everyone in the lineup better. The guys in front of him and the guys behind him. That's how big a threat he is. And we got McGee batting. Last game for the D-backs was a win. Some momentum right now, starting out with a victory in the first of three against the Cardinals. Well, this team's been playing pretty well recently. Six and four in our last ten games. And we start the ball game out with the ball. You extend this kind of a streak out, and you realize you could win 96 ball games, winning six out of every 10. Well, 96 ball games going to win you a lot of divisions and get you in the postseason one way or another. And you can't argue with this. Let's just see how they do today. In time for the out. Here's how we'll see the D-backs lined up on defense. Let's take a look last year in the National League where the Cardinals ended up ranking. Second in batting average, second in batting average with runners in scoring position, and they were ranked third in hits, a team that could put the bat on the ball and find their ways to get on base. One out, nobody on. Check swing here. Did he go around? They say no. They're going to look down to third to see if he did. No go is the call, so he'll dig back in again. A 1-0 pitch. Swung on, line to right field. That falls in, first hit of the ball game. It's nice to get that runner on base with one out. Good piece of hit in that single. Now they got something to work with. Hornsby is the batter now. One down, runner at first. Here's the delivery. Ball. Sinker misses badly, 1-0. Oh. Here's the 1-0. Oh. That's a foul ball. Foul! He's running, heading for second. Oh, out trying to take second. Cut on, fouled off to the right. Ball. Oh. There's a sinker in there. Side's going to be retired as that's called for a third strike. No runs, one hit, and no one left on base. And the D-backs getting ready to start this one off. Take a look at who's going to be starting for the Cardinals. And what is this Arizona lineup going to see from him today? Now, this right-hander on the mound today should not have much difficulty going through this lineup. They tend not to hit the quality pitchers in the game, and he clearly is one of the best around. 
strike to start the bottom of the first. When you can spot your four-seam fastball to the outside corner, the hitter has to have balance at the plate and not pull off the ball. This is in the air, straight away left. That one's caught. Now we got a chance to take a look at the lineup for the Diamondbacks. So who are you looking at, John? Well, one of the great clutch hitters in the game, Hideki Matsui, guy that's driven in many, many a big run for his team. Look for him today to try to get some guys on base in front of him and deliver the big blow for his team. And now's a good time to take a quick look at how the St. Louis Cardinals will look defensively. Highlights, John, from these fielders. Well, Albert Pujols has played multiple positions throughout his career, but really has entrenched himself at first base as one of the best in baseball. One out, base is empty. Chased one that time, nothing in one. Well, you see that pitch coming in, and it starts at the center of the plate, and all of a sudden, as soon as you start your swing, that's when that slider starts breaking away, gets out of the strike zone away, he can't stop his swing, and swings and misses. There's contact. He drove it well. Bounces up against the wall. Game leaders in home runs. How'd they do it last year? Well, let's take a look at our State Farm leaderboard. Number one, the Reds. Second, the Brewers. In third, the D-backs. The Rockies fourth. And number five, the Phillies rounded up. Well, this team lives and die with the home run ball. They were one of the top teams in the league last year at hitting the ball out of the ballpark, and they seem to want to continue that in this season. They have so much power and depth throughout this lineup that every one of these guys can hurt you. Fastball just misses. 1-0. Spins, checks him at second. Didn't look like he was going to go anywhere that time, so he's easily back. Here's the pitch. Change up just off the block. Falls behind, 2-0. Oh. And that's down and in around the shoe tops. 3-0 and oh now. A lot of managers are hesitant to turn their guys loose 3-0. and oh, But I say let it fly. This might be the best pitch he sees in the hole at bat. Right. Looks at that one. It's in there for a strike 3-1. and one. But Clearly the hitter had the take sign on right there. He was taken all the way. That'll be ball four. He needs to be careful here. Don't give them free base runners. Make them earn it. He went with a fastball and a three ball count, which is what you want to do most often. He just couldn't throw a strike. Let's see what the Cardinals have coming up. One game left with Arizona. That's tomorrow. There's another stop on the road trip. The Los Angeles Dodgers will be hosting. That is a four-game road series. Then they'll kick off a homestand with the Nationals. One out with runners at first and second. And it's fouled away. Missed badly with a fastball there, one and one. Here's the one one pitch. Swung on, liner to right. A perfect situational hitting. This is exactly the time you want to go the other way. And what we're talking about is taking the ball where it's pitched. It's outside, go the other way. Oh boy, Garrett, tell you what, you need to bear down and make some pitches right here. 
And you can see he's trying to keep his composure out there, dealing with the spaces loaded situation and a one away. That's a tough situation. He can't walk a batter, but he also can't be too aggressive, throwing it over the heart of the plate, give up a home run. Tough work ahead. Ball. Matt Suey will take it up high. Lifetime numbers, let's see. He's hitting uh, 407 off the Cardinals. And now the 1 0. Let's the 1 0 pitch go by 1 1. So now the big left handed bat, Hideki Matsui, with the RBI chance. Boy, I tell you what, this guy is so underrated in this lineup. He is one of the best clutch hitters in baseball today. Pitch on the way. That's what gets away from him there, 2 and 1. Well, a good count right here for the hit and run, a 2 and 1 count. Does the manager have enough guts to take a chance on running the count to three and one with a pitch out to try to nail the runner at second base? The two one pitch oh. and three balls and one strike. Hideki Matsui, the good contact hitter, will look for his pitch here. Well, you've got to be careful right here. Look, you're down in the count three and one. You just can't throw something in there and hope he gets himself out. This guy's too dangerous for that. That misses. Ball four, and here comes the run. Well, when you nibble like this, you get yourself in trouble. A three-ball count. He goes back to the fastball, which is what he should do, but he misses and now forces in a run. He's got to throw strikes in this situation. He's in a big-time jam. Some hot water right here, Steve. Base is loaded, only one away. Well, it's still early in the game, but everyone in the ballpark understands what an important at bat this is in this situation. It could impact the rest of the game. Three on and one out. Swing and a rocket towards short. There's one. Decides not to try for the double play, hangs onto it. We hope you can't get enough baseball. There'll be more this Saturday. We'll see Lance Berkman and the Houston Astros. They'll face the visiting San Diego Padres. All gets going at 7 p.m. Eastern. Bases are loaded with two down. Line towards second. Hornsby throws to first in time. That's three down. Well, some early production here. One run across in the first. The D-backs on top, one to nothing. And we've got Musial batting. He's going to get us started. Second inning. A swing line to left center. That should be a base hit. So Albert Pujols comes up now. Now State Farm takes a look at last year's leaders in on-base percentage. There you see Pujols, second spot on the list. Third is Prince Fielder, Joey Votto, number one. Well, you can't score runs if you don't get guys on base, and this guy was one of the best at it in all of baseball last year. He will walk. He can get his base hits, but the bottom line is he is on base, and when you're on base, you have a better chance of scoring runs than just sitting back and waiting for the homer. Runner on first. Lays off a called strike, 0-1. Oh now, good life on this fastball as he just buries it down and away. Here's the delivery. Oh, strike two. two. Now, no balls, two strikes. Pujols needs to protect that strike zone. A good sinking movement on that pitch right on the black away from the hitter. Tough pitch to hit. Oh, tough one to lay off right there, that fastball, one and two. Well, you see, he just missed with that fastball right there away. Let's see if they try to come back inside to try to jam him. One-two pitch coming. Lined right at the second baseman. And there's one. But he'll hang on to that, so they will get one. Here's what the Diamondbacks, they've got in store. The series with St. Louis concluding tomorrow. They get in the ring with another National League West team, the San Francisco Giants. That's a three-game series. And then a road trip. They'll match up with the Reds. 
the team that bested them in the last series between the two probably won't lose too much sleep preparing for this stretch of games. One out man on first. Ball first pitch inside with a fastball ball one. and in for ball two. Oh. Sinker misses outside. He's behind. 3-0. and oh. And when he can keep that thing down and away, it's nearly impossible to hit. Ball four. The potential tying run in scoring position. Off the plate outside. He's missed on four straight. He's got to bring it back in the zone. A look at the teams from last year who stepped up big with runners in scoring position. Courtesy of State Farm. Number one, the Reds. Second, the Cardinals. The Rockies third. The D-backs fourth. And for the Padres, they are in that five spot. Well, you absolutely love doing a game like this. Two of the more clutch hitting teams in the league last season. These guys love oh. hitting with runners in scoring position. And the thing is, it's not just one guy. It's the whole team. These guys love it. They like getting guys on base. And they love bringing them in. They're going to make the pitchers work extremely hard in this one. Here's a swing and a liner to left center. That looks like a single. Now, here he comes, heading for home. And he'll come in to score. Well, you see the pitch down in the zone a little bit, but he got a good piece of wood on it and drives it. What you like about that, Ed is the discipline to keep your head in. Well, I'll tell you what, he changed locations, went down in the zone. It's a solid piece of hitting. Here's Cooper to the plate. Now, they did not want to get too far behind in this ball game, so the... The importance of the production here is to get themselves even. Uh, Gary, that was a big at bat right there. Coming up and bringing them back even here early on. Nice job. That's all it took, and that brings us to that proverbial brand new ball game. Two men on, one out. Ball First one. pitch, way out of the zone, ball one. Well, that was a great at bat, not only because it drove in the tying run, but it shifted the momentum, and now the offense is back on track. Ready with a 1-0. 1-0 pitch. A sinker in there. 1-1. Uh, it's playing with fire. You're going to get burned if you leave pitches right there. He deals. Here's a called strike on the outer half, and it's 1-2. and two. In order to throw that fastball away from the hitter, you have to get great extension out in front. Nice job of pitching. The one-two on its way. That's swung on and a liner here. Over to second for one. And a one-run scores. He gets the RBI base hit. And maybe he wanted to waste that pitch. It just didn't get it far enough away or up high. Well, it just it was still caught a little too much of the plate, and the batter took advantage of it. Good focus at the plate. He swings, hits a ball to right field. And he's there to retire the sun. They score two runs, two hits, one left on. St. Louis taking the lead and putting the heat on. We'll get a look at that leadoff hitter due up here in the inning. Those of you just coming on board, Gary Thorne with Steve Phillips and John Cruck bringing you Major League Baseball on 2K Sports. Called strike out of half of the plate, 0 oh, and 1. A nice four seamer right there. That one's clearly on the outside corner. He hit the spot.
Here's the pitch. Called strike outside corner. Quickly in the hole now, 0-2. When you can mix speeds and hit your spots, this is what you get. Nice pitch. That's foul back behind the plate. Good slider that time. Rule the ball. One and two. Now if you're going to miss, this is where you want to miss. Throw that breaking ball at the bottom of the strike zone. If the hitter swings and puts it in play, it's a ground ball out. Swung on, grounded towards the hole. And that's out number one as he takes it to the bag. Well, we've got a moment to look back to last year's Diamondbacks. Second in doubles, third in home runs. They also showed up in the top five in triples, and that's a real credit to their hitting and base running. Aggressiveness coming out of the batter's box. Base is empty, one out. Ball one. That's low and outside, one and zero. Oh. Hitting 230, lifetime against the Cardinals. Change up low, 2 and 0. Oh. He delivers. Hazo Latsui lays off that one. Now he could get a walk. Well, you saw the catcher right there setting up inside, and the pitcher just missed off the plate. Still a pretty good pitch, though. Now Matsui, a 3-1 count. Dangerous power hitter. He takes that strike to go to 3-1, and one, but still a hitter's count. Looking for a cripple pitch right here. Now the 3-1 pitch. Strike two. Got a full count now. Swings and misses on a fastball. Now the 3-2 pitch. You're out. And Matsui strikes up no contact. You've got to have better plate discipline than that. With two strikes, you need to be defensive and try to make contact. But when you get a fastball, you need to read whether it's a strike or not. And the number eight spot rolls around. Flew out last time. Two outs, space is empty. First pitch, here it comes. Hit in the air to left center. And that's going to do it in this half inning. No scoring here ending this half inning. Cardinals still protecting the lead. The top of the order is due up next. And we got McGee batting. He's going to start the third here. Here's the delivery. Strike. Cut on and missed, and it's on one. Credit the catcher on that one. That's a good low target setting up, and he hit the target. Good execution. Strike. Good hard sinker that time. In control on the count now. 0-2. get him to chase the fastball low one and two well anytime you have a good fastball and you can keep it down in the zone around the knees or lower it's great location and believe me very difficult to hit You're big out. swing and a miss on a heater strike him out one down well credit the pitcher right there good two strike pitch down and away not much he could have done with that even if he had made contact and in the batter's box, it's Braun. He had a single in his last time up. One out, nobody on. 
Now the first pitch. This one's pretty well hit to deep left center. That's the second out of the inning. Well, this ball is headed to the gap, but the left fielder got a good jump on it, able to run it down and make the play. Hornsby up now. This is his first year in the majors. Base is empty and two down. The pitch. Ball. Sinker just missed. One and oh. The 1 0 now. And he looks at a sinker in there. 1 and 1. Good looking fastball. Call the ball though. 2 and 1. Now the 2-1 pitch. Two and Here's two. a swing and a miss at the heater. We're even at two. Well, that's some kind of fastball down in the zone right there. The hitter has to be ready for it or he's got no chance to hit it. Fastball swung on and missed. Side retired. And nothing across here in this half of the inning. And it'll be the D-backs. For those of you catching up with us, hi, I'm Gary Thorne along with John Cruck and Steve Phillips bringing you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. First pitch on the way. That's right down the chute called strike. And here's the delivery. There's a swing, line drive, center field. And that gets the tying run on board. Our State Farm leaderboard recapping the teams that led the way in extra base hits last year. The D-backs, number one. The Reds, second. In third, the Brewers. The Rockies, fourth. And number five, the Phillies rounded up. Well, Gary, this is not a team you're going to look at and say, okay, they're going to choke up and try to hit the ball the other way. These guys try to hit the ball in the gap or over the wall, and most of the time they do that because last year they were the best in the league at hitting for extra base hits. And I tell you what, you look at these guys swing the bat, they're going to try to lead the league again this year. And he's going to hang on to it, no relay, so they will not get the double play. Up now their rookie third baseman. He's one for one so far. Here, they're going to have to give him the green light at first base. He has good speed. They're down by a run. He's got to get in scoring position. Oh. Fastball is high. 1-0. Oh. Well, he tried that four-seam fastball up in the zone to get him the chase. Tough pitch to lay off of. Good job by the hitter. The 1-0 -oh pitch. Good wood. Hits it right back up through the pitcher. That's one. And two. A double play. So no runs on one hit and nobody left on. St. Louis not letting their lead go. And we've got Musial batting. He'll dig in, start of the fourth inning. First pitch. Comes out swinging for the fences, but ends up with a strike one. Pitch on the way. Ball. Here's a sinker that misses. One and one. Right. And he looks at a sinker in there, and it's one and two now.
That misses the strike zone away to even things at two. And it's fouled off. Line drive. That's foul towards first. Well, even if he doesn't get a hit here in this at bat, the fact that he's making the pitcher work, two and two count, enables everyone around him in the dugout to see every pitch he's throwing because he's throwing the kitchen sink trying to get this strikeout. He just fouled off that low pitch. One away. Here's a look at the league leaders at the plate last season, brought to you by State Farm. Number one, Carlos Gonzalez. Second is Joey Votto. Third, Troy Tulowitzki. Matt Holiday fourth, and Albert Pujol sees number five. Well, here's a guy that played at his peak performance last year, Gary. I mean, you talk about a guy who was tough to get out. He put the ball in play, made a lot of things happen for this ball club, and he had an outstanding season. One out, nobody on. Strike right one. down the middle for a strike. But with the rich history in Major League Baseball, the St. Louis Cardinals, where do you put Albert Pujols on the all-time list of great Cardinals? Strike, strike two. two. Now no balls, two strikes. Pujols needs to protect that strike zone. Well, certainly a good question, John, where he'll uh, rate as a Cardinal, but certainly... Uh, even if you put the pitchers in with the all-time great hitters they've had, he's he's right there at the top and maybe number one when he's done. Yeah. I mean, here's the thing. I think we, we can talk about rating with the Cardinals. I think the question is, where is he in the all-time greats in the history of the game? He'll be the best player they'll have ever had, and he may end up being the best right-handed hitter to ever play the game. Here it comes. Back up the middle. Ooh, look out. Off the pitcher. Number 51, and that'll retire Pujols. But a quick recovery that time gets the out. Their number two spot at the plate. He walked and later scored his last time through. Base is empty with two outs. Good rip on that one, but he missed it on one. Sinker called strike. Now 0-2. And I threw that one exactly where he wanted it, down and in. Wanted to get him fishing, but he misses. One and two. Line drive fouled off towards first. The one-two pitch. A smash towards the hole. And that's out number three. Nothing doing here in this half inning. St. Louis two, Arizona one. Leading it off, Hideki Matsui in the top ten in walks. Not a bad list. Pop foul to the left. Here's the pitch. Swung on line to right center field. And that is in there. The tying run is on base. Well, good piece of hitting right there. And anytime you get your first hitter of the inning on base, it could set up the potential for a big inning. Look at the teams who led the league in slugging last year. Brought to you by State Farm. The Reds, number one. Second, the Rockies. Third spot, the Brewers. 
fourth D-backs. And number five, the Phillies rounded up. Well, slugging percentage plays a key part in any team's offense, and this team was one of the best in the league last year at doing that. They seem to hit for extra bases. Line shot into center field. Gets down. The go-ahead runs on base. Good opportunity here for Arizona. Now showing aggressiveness early in the count all over that 0-0 pitch. Ripping the fastball to center. Runners at first and second. Nobody out. And the first pitch. And he lays off one right down the middle, 0-1. Well, he gets the breaking ball right over the heart of the plate. He must have been looking for something else. The pitch. Strike Watches two. that one for a called strike. Nothing and two. Come on, the pitch. Ugly pitch. Catcher able to somehow scoop that out. That one swung on its line. And another hit back to back. Fantastic chance here. Now this pitch just cuts right over the heart of the plate. The hitter handled it perfectly. Mm. That's one of those where you've uh, you've given in by making a bad pitch and, and really made it much easier for the hitter. Yeah, he's better than that. Fair down. Bases are loaded and nobody out. Here's the first pitch. Strike Got him one. to chase that one away. Strike one. Well, you see that pitch coming in, and it starts at the center of the plate, and all of a sudden, as soon as you start your swing, that's when that slider starts breaking away, gets out of the strike zone away, he can't stop his swing, and swings and misses. Smash towards the middle. He's up with it. One. And they turn the double play. And so he comes home. That ties the ball game. That Keystone area can get a little rusty. A nice turn on the double play. Just the way they draw it up. Great pivot by the shortstop. So Kazu Matsui thinking RBI. He had remained hitless in 18 ABs last year against the Cardinals. Two outs and a runner on third. Here's the pitch. That's inside for a ball, 1-0. Oh. Well, that pitch just took off right there and exploded out of the pitcher's hand. Kept it just a little bit inside, though. Tough pitch to hit. Good job by the hitter to lay off. At the belt, the 1-0. Oh. Right and he looks at a fastball in there, 1-1. One one. Well, that's right down the chute. The hitter must be looking for something else. Otherwise, you have to swing at that. Swing and a liner to left. And it's in there, and Arizona's going to score. Well, in order to hit that pitch right there, he had to get full extension. I mean, that's a long reach for this guy. You know, and the pitcher has to be shaking his head, wondering how much further outside do I have to go to get him to chase. In the box again there, left fielder. And I see they've got the edge right now. They're getting some big runs at an important part of the game. Trying to salt it away early. Uh, that was a good piece of hitting right there. He got his pitch, took advantage of it, drove it, and picked up the run. Well, he can run. Matsui will steal a base if you don't keep him close. First pitch on the way. Takes a swing at that fastball. Can't connect on one. And you get a feeling, even though it's early in this ball game, that every run in this one is going to matter. Well, that's why they have to look to keep tacking on runs, try to sustain the lead. When you've got an opportunity like this, you need a big hit. And he got good wood up the middle. Throws on to first in time to retire the side. So they pick up four hits in the inning and two runs across. Arizona takes this brand new lead into the next half inning. Is the batter. Singled home a run in his last at bat. 
First pitch on the way. Ball Fastball too low. What a no. One oh pitch a sinker swung on and missed one and one. Well, that's cut on and missed one and two. Swing and a miss on the sinker. One away. Let's take a look at what a sinker looks like in KQ. Well, sometimes you get fooled so badly, there's just nothing else you can do but hope and pray that you put the ball in play, hopefully foul, to get another pitch to hit. Here's Cooper to the plate. Bounced into a fielder's choice as last time. Base is empty with one away. On the way. The 0-0 delivery of fastball taken for a strike. A good four-seam fastball right there. You have to know yourself. He didn't think he could catch up to it. Better off to take it. Here's the pitch. Swung on, hit in the air to right center. Matsui's there. And he gets over and grabs it with a leather. He's retired 10 in a row. The hitters are completely overmatched right now. He's got it all going on. And Ozzie Smith in. On the base pass, number two in steals in the ball club. Two outs, base is empty. And Smith in the batter's box, first pitch. Here's a swing and a fly ball to right center. And that gets the tying run on board. I dare you take a look at the legs on this guy. He can fly and really impacts the game with his speed. And we got McGee batting. He was a strikeout victim last time through the lineup. Smith on first. Here's the pitch. Ball. Pitch out. Nothing was on, though. Pauses, and now the 1-0. Swings, hits this one in the air, down the right field line. That's caught. Side is retired. No runs at a base hit. They leave one man on at first. D-backs, three. Cardinals, two. It'll be batters, two through four, due up next. And if you're just joining our 2K Sports Major League Baseball broadcast with John Crook and Steve Phillips, I'm Gary Thorne. Fastball in there, 0 and 1. Here's the pitch. Fouled off. And the changeup, it's in there. Struck him out, one away. Well, you like to see your pitcher strike guys out. You like to see him keep the pitch count down. He did both. Big smile in the dugout over there. That's a domination in that effort by the pitcher. Has a turn in the box. Lined out last time up. Nobody on base. One away. And the first pitch. He sends this one in the air towards center. 
The catch is made, and that's out number two. And it rolls around to the top again. One for two in the ballgame. Two outs and nobody on. The first pitch. Starts him out with a slider for a strike. This is where you want to go with the breaking ball. To the outside corner. Paint the black. Get the call. The hitter gave up on it. He got the pitch he wanted. Good hard slider. Swung on and missed. 0 and 2. Well, a great pitch and a great strike right there to get that pitch down and away. Look, if you can throw it out there consistently, you keep doing it, you're going to have a lot of success. That swung on and flied to right. And it gets down. That's hit number two, making good contact. That will bring Hideki Matsui to the plate. Boy, I don't know on that count, Steve. Number one, the fact that he swung is kind of a surprise. I don't know how he hit that where well, it was. You're right. On an 0-2 count, you have to protect the plate. Sometimes it's a defensive swing. But sometimes it works out. And a lot of free passes, National League Top 5 department. Two outs and a man on first. Here's Matsui's first look. Catcher can't control it. So they can't make the play. Well, listen, it's all about advancing base runners in the game. you got to make plays defensively, but that error cost him, and he came out of his hand wrong, and the ball sailed on him. And with two down and a big RBI producer at the plate, here you're not going to give him the chance to bring those runs in. Well, two outs, first base open. This is good strategy. Don't play with fire. Clean up man in the box again. He singled and later scored in his last time up. Two men on and two men out. Now the first pitch. Ball. That's off the plate away, 1-0. Oh. Well, that pitch right there, that change up away. If a guy's looking for it, that's a great pitch to be able to hit the other way with some power. At the belt, the 1-0. Oh. Swung out and missed, and it's 1-1. One one. Well, that change up down of the way is so tough. It's really one of those ones, all you can do is spoil it and hope to get the next one. Pitch on the way. Hot shot towards the hole. Fantastic chance here. He goes right with the pitch and slaps the ball into left field. And if you try and pull that pitch, you're probably not even going to get the bat on it. That's a ground ball to second base if he pulls that one. Two outs. Base is loaded. And the first pitch. It's fouled off. Foul. He makes contact, line drive. And that's the third out, Pujols grabs it. Well, they do load the bases on two hits, but can't push across any runs. Up next, Cardinals. And in the batter's box, it's Braun. He's ready to start out here in the sixth inning. First pitch to him. First pitch, a sinker away, 1-0. and Now the 1-0 pitch. Called strike on the outside corner, and it's 1-1. Here's the delivery. Check swing, but it's in there. One and one. That's ball just about had him, and it's a 2-2 two -two count. Well, that fastball right there just missed, just below the knees. Tell you what, a borderline pitch. I think they wanted that one bad.
brings that curveball just about had him, but it's full. And when he can keep that thing down and away, it's nearly impossible to hit. Three two on the way. That misses ball four. The potential tying run on base. Well, the hardest thing to do when you have an at bat that lasts this long is sometimes you have a tendency to be impatient and chase one. Give the hitter a lot of credit. It was a close pitch, but he laid off of it to earn that walk. Hornsby gets a shot here. Oh, Gary, that walk right there is the tying run in this game. That's not how you want to make the opposition do it. Make them earn it. The runner on first, no outs. He's running towards second. Oh! And he is safe at second. Here's the 1-0. Sinker just off the black falls behind 2-0. Stevie knows he's really got a pitch now. He's put himself in a situation where he's really bought pressure on himself. Uh, you know, these are the type of innings you get really big on you right here. It's about damage control. I know you put the tying run out, but you've got to bear down right here. And that is in there. The go-ahead run on board. A prime chance for production for the Cardinals. Well, you would have to think with the speed that's on first base right now that they'll put him in motion to try to make things happen here in this game. And we've got Musial batting. Big things can happen anytime he steps in that batter's box. No outs in the corners are covered. And here's the first one. Swings and misses. The sinker, 0-1. Line fair down the line and right. It's a fair ball headed into the corner for extra bases. And he scores. That is the tying run. And, Steve, this one turns into a nice one-run RBI. You leave a pitch up in the zone like that, hitters are going to hammer it. That's what happened. Run scored and another runner on base. Things get a little bit tight for the manager and certainly for the catcher, but most importantly for the pitcher. Yeah, and this is a dangerous situation where a game sometimes gets out of hand. You get two on, nobody out. Uh, the pitcher has to take command of this situation. At this stage of the game, it could go either way for him. He could either battle through it and stay in, or he may not be long for the game. No outs, runners at second and third. He deals. Oh and Pujols watches that one outside. The 174, his number last year against the D-backs here in Arizona. The 1-0 now gets that call at the knees, evens the count at one apiece. You can really stay out of big trouble in the big inning if you can spot your fastball down in the zone. One one pitch, fastball. That's gonna be low. Two and one. Well, anytime you have a good fastball and you can keep it down in the zone around the knees or lower, it's great location and believe me, very difficult to hit. Here's the 2 1. It's now 3 and 1. Pool holes got the hitter's count. Well, anytime you have a count 3 and 1 in your favor as the hitter, you're looking for a pitch in a little box in the location you want to. If he throws it in there, you better be ready and get a good hack at it. Swung on, line to right field. And that will score the run. Tie broken. They've got the lead. Well, they need a big out right here, Jeremy. They're giving up some runs in this inning. They need to get outs right now just, again, to show that they can get them. And the first baseman in. Offensive production. Boy, does that look good as you move along later into a ball game, and they've got a lead. 
Gary, we just saw a big hit right there, and it points out how critical it is at this time of the game to have somebody who can step up and get the job done in a clutch situation. And now it comes down to can their bullpen hold this lead? A swing and a fly ball to left center field. One away. Mize is batting. Struck out swinging his last time up. Runners at first and third, one away. Here's the first pitch. Sinker drops in for a called strike. The pitch. Missed with a fastball outside, and it's even at one. Waves at a fastball on that 1-1 one, one pitch. Strike two. Credit the catcher on that one. That's a good low target setting up, and he hit the target. Good execution. 1-2 pitch coming. On the ground to short, and he scoops it up. That's who he turns one. And two. They got both of them that time. They pick up two, three hits, strand a man. St. Louis taking the lead and putting the heat on. Number three slot up again here. 0 for 2 thus far. Here's the first pitch. There's a swing and a drive deep to left field. And he makes the catch. One away. Well, this ball was well struck, but it stays in the ballpark. The left fielder is able to range back and make the catch. And Kazu Matsui up. One out, bases him. On the way. Swing and a line at a right center. And that is in there. The tying run is on base. Well, with one out here and a guy on first base, the last thing you want to do is hit into a double play. Let's see if he can stay away from that. They're going to go to the pinch hitter in this situation, trying to get that big hit to bring this runner home. Runner at first with one down. Fastball misses away. 1 0. That's outside. Ball two. Here's the delivery. Swung on a fly ball down the left field line. Two down. Up now, there's second base. Called out on strikes in his last appearance. The number seven batter in the box. Two for three thus far. Matsui's the runner at first. First pitch. And the pitch out. Nothing doing that time. Ready with a 1-0. 1-0 pitch. A sinker in there. 1-1. 
good, hard, boring, sinking action on that one. Good stuff. This is high with that one for ball two. Well, that pitch right there just seemed to get away from the pitcher, took off on him. Looked like he tried to overthrow that a little bit. The 2 1 pitch. Three and and one. he misses high. And we'll run the count to 3 and 1. Well, even though you're 3 and 1 in the count, you still have to be patient at the plate. Make him throw a quality pitch. If he does, be ready for it. And if you're the pitcher, you better not throw anything down the middle and hope he's taking it because he can take you out of the yard. Oh, got him. That is one heck of a play. No runs on a hit, and they'll strand him. St. Louis not letting their lead go. Here's Cooper to the plate. He'll lead off the seventh inning. Number 49 will be coming in to pitch in this game. They've decided it was time to make a change here. Swings on that first pitch, misses the fastball, 0 and 1. Oh. Fastball misses low that time, 1 and 1. The 1-1 one, one on the way. Oh. Missed with the fastball outside, 2-1. and one. Here's the pitch. Strike That's two. buying for a strike, 2-2 two and two now. Well, if you're going to get a good fastball, you better pull the trigger a little sooner. You can't be late on that heater. Curveball in there for a call, strike three. Now this curveball just drops right off the table. The hitter thought he had a beat on it, then he gave up as it breaks into the strike zone. Smith in. One out, nobody on. And Smith in the batter's box, first pitch. Ball. Just missed with the fastball, 1 0. Well, he tried to go outside on the outside corner with that fastball right there. Just got a little bit off the plate. He's got to be careful, though. You don't want that hitter to get his arms extended. In there at the letters, evening the count, one and one. That's a good fastball right there. He blew that one right by him. One one on the way. Lays off that one just out of the zone, and it's two and one. The 2 1 pitch. Fastball on the black. He doesn't get the call, though, and it's 3 and 1. Well, that right there is a really good pitch. Just missing the outside corner. Give the batter a lot of credit, though. That is one of the toughest pitches to lay off of. That hard fastball away. Strike he two. lets that fastball go by. Called strike 3 and 2. Payoff pitch coming. And that one is going to be outside. And that is ball four. And now you've got a base stealer on. Well, after a long, epic battle, this at bat ends in a walk? Are you kidding me? Someone should have got struck out or someone should have got a hit. But the hitter will take the walk. And we got McGee batting. He flew out his last time up. One out. Runner on at first.
Here it comes. Ball. Fastball is downstairs. One ball, no strikes. Ball and they pitch out. Uh, nobody's moving. And he takes a called strike, two and one. The grip of the palm ball is what slows the velocity down. He throws it with the same arm speed, but because of the grip, he chokes it, and the ball just comes out slower. Three and two one. one pitch, a fastball, outside, three and one. Well, you've got to be careful right here. Look, you're down in the count, three and one. You just can't throw something in there and hope he gets himself out. This guy's too dangerous for that. Come set the three-one delivery. Ball four. That misses ball four. Now we're going to see if we'll get some motion on the base pass. A good eye at the plate right there. He showed the discipline to lay off of that inside pitch. And in the batter's box, it's Braun. Now, Gary, we just saw the second walk in this inning, and you really have to start the question: Is he nibbling, trying to avoid contact, or is he losing control? Runners on first and second with one out. Didn't look like he was going anywhere. Gets back easily. And the double steal is on. Oh, and they succeed on it. That's a double steal. Nice play. Second pitch, cuts on a fastball, misses, and it's 0-2. And Steve, absolutely right about those walks here. He's got himself in a jam. He doesn't get out of it. His part of the game may be over. Well, he's finding himself in hitters' counts. And when hitters can look for a certain pitch, they can drive it. So he's in trouble. And this is bounced foul to the left side. Here's the pitch. Won't bite on the palm ball. Then it's one and two. A good plate discipline right here. That palm ball down and away is a tough pitch to do anything with. So why bother swinging at it? Swing and a miss on the fastball. Second out in the inning. But keep the runners right where they are. Now two out. Not a lot of time left in this ball game. You cannot give them more runs. A chance to find out what these guys are made of right now, Gary. Try it again here. Just one for three thus far. Runners at second and third and two down. And the first pitch. Watches a fastball that's in there. 0-1. It's important for the pitcher to get the first strike in there. Now he can go in a number of different directions. Ball. Takes one off the plate to even the count at one. Swung on, a fly ball heading towards the corner and right. And that's out number three. Well, they can't push any across here in this half of the inning. Stretch time here in Phoenix. Oh, he's up now. He'll start the home half of the summer. Here's the pitch. First pitch, a sinker in there, 0-1.
Well, down by one, nobody out here in the seventh inning. You want to try to get somebody on base and, and get a little bit of rally because within one, you want to be able to time it and maybe take the lead. So play for a big inning right here. Strike Good two. hard sinker. Swung on and missed 0-2. Ball swung out and missed, struck him out, one away. Well, this is where you want to go with two strikes on the hitter. You want to go down out of the zone. He swings through it, couldn't make contact with that one. In the box, their third baseman. He singled and he has lasted bat. Base is empty, one out. First pitch, here it comes. Swung on line to right center field. And that's going to be a base hit. Tying run is on. Well, anytime you're a hitter and you can get three hits in a game, you're going to see that average start creeping up to where you want it to be. And he's on now with one out. Batting Hideki Matsui. 250 average last year, one for four against the Cardinals. got a bona fide base dealer at first base the kind of guy that can steal second when everybody knows he might be going they're gonna have to keep him close that's one and that's two a double play no runs one hit and no one left on base st louis maintaining their advantage cleanup batter you'll have next and we've got musial batting he's going to get us started eighth inning Here's the first one. Ball! Looked like the palm ball just missed. 1-0. and Now, good plate discipline right here. That palm ball down and away is a tough pitch to do anything with, so why bother swinging at it? Strike Second one. pitch waves at a fastball. Strike one. The 1-1. One, one. One, one pitch. Fastball. That's going to be low. 2-1. and one. Two, one pitch. 2-1 two, two. pitch is that palm ball. Taken for a called strike two. That's where you want to go with that pitch. You want to pound a hitter inside hard and then go soft away. That palm ball just drops off the table. Ball Fastball well off the mark, and it's full three and two. Payoff pitch. Strike three called on the fastball. Run away. Well, they climbed the ladder with the fastball, and he just couldn't catch up to that high heater. And it's Albert Pujols now with one away. And guys, the amazing thing about Pujols is he will take a walk. He's not going to stretch out his strike zone in order to put the ball in play. He doesn't like to strike out. He does what's best for his team, and that's getting on base for the guys behind him. First pitch to pull holes. First pitch fastball misses badly that time. 1-0. Oh. 
You know what John was talking about to, with Albert Pujols. You got over 100 walks in each of the last three years. And he still puts up those tremendous offensive numbers. Pretty unbelievable. But I mean, that's so odd because you think to hit home runs, you have to get a little bit bigger swing, kind of swing with a little more force. That's not the way Albert Pujols looks at it. He considers himself a line drive hitter that actually has some power to the line drive. And he's right. He can hit it over the wall and through the wall. He hits it so hard. And he gets that one down. His second hit. Two for four today. Well, let's take a look at Albert Pujols and how last season stacked up. First in home runs, first in RBIs, and the willingness to take the base on balls. He was willing to take that walk when they gave it to him, not being selfish and trying to swing to force things and make them happen. Pujols, your runner at first. First pitch on the way. Can't get him to chase it. That's low. Ball one. Well, the setup man right now is over the 30 pitch mark. And I tell you, these guys are used to having quick innings and basically only pitching one inning at a time. The more pitches he throws, the better chance the opposition has of hitting him. 1-0 pitch is a fastball. Swung on and missed. 1-1. The pitch. Palm ball. Can't find the zone. Two and one. That palm ball down in the zone. You want it starting there and sinking out, but the hitter realizes if it starts at the bottom, it's going to be a ball. Good piece of hitting. Now the 2 1 pitch. 2 1 pitch, a fastball. Outside. Three and one. Well, this is your dream when you're in the on deck circle before you go into the batter's box. If you can get the count to three and one and in your favor, you know you have the upper hand. And that one's going to miss. That'll be ball four. He'll take first base. Now that base on balls doesn't help anything for this pitcher, Gary. Pitcher tried to expand the strike zone to get the hitter to chase, but he didn't chase. Take your base. Mize gets a turn here. Look, Gary, that was his third walk in this game, but he's been able to pitch around his base runners and not give up any runs. One out with runners at first and second. And the first pitch. Swing and a line to left. That's two gone. And the runners will have to hold at first and second. If you're even thinking about it, do not change your channel. Not for this matchup. Drove in a run earlier in the game. Two down. Runners at first and second. And the first pitch. Ball. Off the plate with a fastball, and it's 1-0. Oh. Pauses, and now the 1-0. Oh. Hit in the air to left center. And the sides retired as they head into the dugout. So they pick up no runs, one hit, and strand a couple. Now here come the Diamondbacks in the home half of the eighth. And the right fielder batting again. He'll get us started as we go to the bottom half of the eighth inning. You know, Gary, I think you're losing a little something here. I don't think this guy's nearly a solid... Hit on the ground towards second. Hornsby yeah. over to first for out number one. box now their rookie DH lined out in his last at bat nobody on base one away first pitch to him line drive that's foul towards first he delivers 0-1 oh, is a sinker in there. Called strike. Well, I think for the pitcher's perspective, keep the ball down. Keep it in the ballpark and keep it out of the gap. Force them to hit singles and lump hits together. Ball. Good sinker that time, but it's ruled a ball. One and two. And when he can keep that thing down and away, it's nearly impossible to hit.
The one two on its way. You're out. And the curveball, it's in there. Struck him out. Two down now. K-Cam registers this at 86 miles per hour with some pretty good break. Now you like doing this as a pitcher when you when you can place it down and in like that, boy, that is tough to hit. Well, it came down and in on him a bit, just caught the enough of the strike zone to get the call from the umpire. He deals. Right Sinker's in there, no balls and a strike. One out remaining here in the eighth inning, and uh, obviously offensively time running out. They've got to get something going, only trailing by a run. Find a way, get a pitch. If you get one, you can drive. You've got to think about extra bases. And if Up the middle it goes. Hornsby. And he throws on to first. That'll retire the side. And they're unable to make any noise here in this half inning. St. Louis, they're protecting their lead. And if you just joined our broadcast, great to have you on board. 2K Sports Major League Baseball. I'm Gary Thorne with Steve Phillips and John Crook. Fastball in there, 0 and 1. And he lays one down here. And he's up with it. And his throw is in time for out number one. Well, not a bad thought trying to get something started, getting on base to start some sort of a rally, put some pressure on the defense, but. Didn't work out that way. One out, nobody on. And the first pitch. Oh, fastball uh. just misses. 1-0. Oh. Well, he tried to go outside on the outside corner with that fastball right there. Just got a little bit off the plate. He's got to be careful, though. You don't want that hitter to get his arms extended. Oh. Fastball misses badly. He's behind 2-0. Boy, anytime you bring your setup man in and you tell yourself, oh my gosh, he's up over 45 pitches, you have to think that this is not, the outcome is not going to be great. Tom Ball just misses and he runs it to 3-0. Well, smart hitter realizes he's off balance. Lay off that pitch. Don't swing. Wait for the next one. Here's the pitch. Ball four, he walked him. Off the plate outside, he's missed on four straight. He's got to bring it back in the zone. And in the batter's box, it's Brock. Struck out swinging last time. Well, you've got the lead right now with speed on first base. You have to get him going, I think, Gary. Keep the pressure on. Keep trying to tack on some runs. And that runs high, 1-0. and At the belt, the 1-0. Shot towards the hole. The pick. Too late, and he is safe at second. Well, sometimes the pitcher can do everything he can to record an out. He put this pitch right where he wanted it. The batter very lucky just to get a piece of the bat on the ball, but he's able with the speed to beat it out. Hornsby up now. He's had one hit four times up. Runners on first and second with one out. Here's the first pitch. Oh. And he holds off of the pitch low, 1-0. Oh. Oh, it's a great fastball right there down in the strike zone. Now there's so many ways to go. Let's see how he comes back to attack this hitter. Right. And he takes a strike on that fastball, 1-1. One, one. Now that he's established the bottom of the strike zone, it gives him so many options. He can go to the breaking ball or climb the ladder with another fastball. Here's the pitch. Strike Swing and a miss on that fastball, and it's one and two. And he's back in standing up.
And it goes foul. There's that palm ball swung on and missed two away. The key cam shows the good luck of the palm ball here. Pulls the string, a changeup, John, to sit him down. Well, he followed up an off-speed pitch with that great changeup. Let you know that he has a lot of confidence in that pitch today. Two men on and two men out. The first pitch. First pitch of fastball, that's in there for a strike. You always want to get that first strike in there as a pitcher because now you can execute your plan to put the guy away. Missed with the fastball outside, and it's even at one. Well, you can see what he's doing. He's just pulling that ball away from him, trying to overthrow it, and he can't seem to find the strike zone. He has to be able to rein that thing in right now. And that's in the upper half of the zone, one and two. He let that four-seam fastball go up and in, in the zone. It's up in his eyes. You can see it well. He just couldn't pull the trigger. The one-two pitch. Swings and grounds this one foul wide of third. Fastball called. Strike three in the side is retired. They pick up no runs on a hit, and they leave two on. Cardinals four, Arizona three. The Kaz is a tough out and a tough guy in this sort of situation for the pitcher because you know he's looking for contact. He represents the potential tying run here in the bottom half of the last inning. Can he do it? a smash between short and third? Retiring Matsui. That's one down. Well, offensively right now, you've got to force the issue. You're running out of time. You've got two outs left in this game, Gary. And I think that from the managerial perspective, he's got to think about putting runners in motion if he gets them on to try to make something happen. Base is empty with one away. First pitch on the way. Passes on that low outside pitch, 1-0. The pitch. He watches that fastball. It'll even up the count at 1-1. He's painting the black way with that fastball, Gary. Hitting the spots and with great velocity. One one pitch back up the middle. Oh my. How did he get out of the way of that? Those are scary. That ball was well struck. Good piece of hitting the infield playing back. Had a little more ability to cover some ground, but he's able to get it by him. In the box, their rookie second baseman. Had a couple of hits, four trips to the plate. One down, runner at first. First pitch, headed for the middle. It gets through the potential winning runs on board. The throw, but a high throw. He is going to be safe at third. And he scores, and we are tied. Let's take a moment to check out how much that two-bagger helps their cause. Here's the win expectancy graph. Well, a guy that just continues to swing the bat well in this ball game. Three hits right now so far. And it comes with one out in the inning. Can it start a rally? Oh, up at the plate. And he is batting here late in the game in a crucial spot. Well, you've got a base runner. You don't know if you're going to get another opportunity. The game may be on the line right here. This is the chance at a game-winning RBI. Oh, 
Batting now. He was a strikeout victim last time through the lineup. One out, a runner on at second base. Here's the first pitch. Hard grounded to short. Smith gets to it. And he throws the first in time, out number two. The fans are buzzing with anticipation. They understand this is a turning point in the game. Three for four thus far. Two outs and a runner on second. On the way. Swing and a miss, but he was right on it, 0-1. Oh now it's important to get that first strike. Now the pitcher in the catbird seat. A shot up the middle. Up with it. Throws on the first side is retired. Well, they score once on two hits. One man left. Extra innings coming here in Arizona. You can feel the pressure now. You feel the excitement, the energy in the stadium. Late game excitement. Top half of this extra inning, and this is where these battles between hitters and pitchers become very intense. If you talk to both of these managers, Gary, they'd say, I want this pitcher on the mound, and the other would say, I want this hitter at the plate. The pitch. Swung on and ripped towards second. And he throws on to first for the out for the win. Up again now, the number five spot. Still seeking his first hit of the ball game. One out, nobody on. Here's the first pitch. He's off that one outside, 1-0. Well, a smart hitter realizes he's off balance. Lay off that pitch. Don't swing. Wait for the next one. Here's the 1-0. Oh. Ooh, that looked good. But he falls behind, 2-0. Fastball misses badly. He's in danger of losing him. Right, Not looking at a fastball. Three and one now. Now let's see what he comes back with on the three one pitch. And this one misses ball four. Now the potential go-ahead run is on base. Well, the pitcher nibbling a little bit right here. Hitter not being overly aggressive, laying off those borderline pitches. Mize is the batter. Well, they needed a little extra speed out there to cover the bases, potentially steal a base. Let's see if this added speed pays off. He's batting now late in this game, only one out. And the defense looking for the double play ball. The hitter trying to hit one in the gap. Trying to move that runner around from first. Runner at first with one down. And here's the first one. Watches that fastball. That goes by him for a strike. The hitter lays off this pitch realizing you can't do much. When you get that kind of four-seam fastball down and away, it's tough to hit. That one misses. It gets away from the catcher. So they can't make the play. But Gary's to make the error right there. You just don't want to do that. It's just not good baseball. 1-1 one, one pitches a palm ball that drops in for a strike. One and two. Well, he gets a strike on that pitch, but he certainly didn't hit his spot. He's got to get that down on his own. Pitch on the way. And he watches that one travel down. Two and two. The best curveballs are the ones that start in the strike zone, then fall out of the strike zone. He couldn't get him to fish for that one, though. There's that palm ball swung on and missed two away. Well, no break to speak of on this pitch and only 74 miles per hour. 
Well, you know, you don't have to get every strikeout with heat, and he showed you how you can do it with those last two pitches. Well, that's a great piece of pitching with a changeup right there on that sequence. Runner on second and two outs. Well, you see something new in this game every day, Steve. They're going to intentionally put him on to face one of the best hitters in the game. Now you've got to really question this strategy, Gary. I mean, I don't know why you do this less. Perhaps maybe you saw something in the scouting report. They better hope it doesn't backfire. And Ozzie Smith in. Grounded out last time. They better be careful, Gary, with him on second base. He can run. And he has the ability to read the pitcher and get a good jump as well. First pitch he let go by, and it uh, was a ball, 1-0. and Ready with a 1-0. A swing line to left center. And that one's put away to retire the side. So they can't push any across here in this half of the inning. All knotted up here in Arizona. The five, six, seven hitters coming up. Uh, some kind of matchup right now, some kind of showdown. Hideki Matsui coming up, looks very confident out there. Bottom half, extra inning. Potential go-ahead run standing at the plate. Uh, Gary, both guys know a walk-off homer wins it. The fans want it to end. The 1-0 pitch. That one swung on and missed by Matsui. Even count. Boy, that's some kind of fastball down in the zone right there. The hitter has to be ready for it or he's got no chance to hit it. Here's the 1-1. Fastball gets away from him there. 2-1. Celebratory fashion, Gary, as they win this one and the final inning getting it done in an unbelievable game. It's time to present our player of the game, Hideki Matsui. What a game he gave them. Yeah, I mean, this guy came out and made this team look like world beaters today. Couple of hits and he went big fly. All in all, it adds up to a nice day's work and they come away on top. Could you not feel the enviousness corroding? 